We're sleepy kitty. We're extra sleepy. We don't know it. But that's because we've been drugged. Oh, he lifted his head. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday. Gave Kep some gabapentin last night and woke up early this morning to give Kepler some gabapentin again. He's going into the heart doctor today for a checkup. Um, he was in there six months ago and um, six months ago was whenever he had been on a, a different medication which had been helping his triaditis. But we found out after doing an echocardiogram that it was helping his triaditis at the expense of his heart. So it was causing some, some I mean, he's had some, some minor heart issues, but the medicine that he was on was making things worse for his heart. So at that point, we um, switched his medication. Uh, the, the vet gave us a different medication that should hopefully not be affecting his heart. So the new medication has worked great. Um, sometimes it's a little struggle to get him to, to take it, but his symptoms are, you know, com completely gone. Um, there hasn't been any vomiting or anything in, in six months. So today's appointment is simply to get an updated echocardiogram for Kepler and see if in the in the past six months being on this new medicine has allowed his heart to 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 stabilize to not have any sort of changes or anything so we're crossing our fingers basically triaditis is something that um it, it's not something that we can fix in kepler it's only something that we can manage so um we feel happy to have managed that um, now we just have to make sure that we are also managing the, uh, the heart stuff, but we'll take him in and, uh, do, do a, uh, do an echo and then we'll know for sure. You tired? I bet you are. You're all drugged up. <laughs> hey bud. You got your echo. You ready to go home? You look worn out. Oh, we went out now. You can come out. You can sit in my lap like we did on you the way over. You want to sit in my lap? Oh, we were real shaky. It's you okay. seem to do better sitting in your lap on the way she here. Did. Oh, no, you can't go down there. No, no. <laughs> oh, you did a bad job catching him. There he, he goes. He's very drugged. Oh, druggy boy. Hi. So, um, no change. Which this is, is great. Which news. is really great. His none of his heart stuff has changed at all in the past six months. That's awesome. <laughs> so cool. Uh so the Serenia is working and keeping his triaditis in check, and also it's not hurting his heart. So this is like the best possible outcome. Awesome. Okay, I'm tired. I gotta go, I gotta go back to bed. I'm <laughs> onion nap. So we got back this morning around 9 a.m. and uh, Kepler slept until 3:30. And uh, at 3:30 he got up and was start just he jumped off because he is he's been on the bed. He jumped off the bed and was like, "Wow!" And I was like, "You hungry, buddy? You finally ready to eat?" So I carried him down the stairs. And I fed him. And he ate it all. You're hungry, weren't you? You're coming out of your drugged state. You're waking up a little bit. You're probably, you're probably good enough to use the stairs now. Earlier, I wasn't really keen on letting him use the stairs, so I, when we came home, I carried him upstairs to keep him up there. And uh, he's done well. The GABA really. It's a it's a pretty big wallop. Like he's for several hours, he's just kind of like. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, it's, you know, I don't love that. Like, I'm glad he gets a chance to rest, but I'm glad to have him back. So oh, on this one, yeah. you need the wheels to run on the things right there. Oh my God. Because those are your road. Okay. There's also a chest in the water. Go with God. <laughs> no, 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 no! Go with God! <laughs> ah, okay, hold on. We're, we really, listen, just, we're so cl go! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I do not know how to actually beat this shrine. I learned nothing. I don't care to know. I did it my way. All right. Uh, oh, shoot. How do I get over there? It's later. We did the Zelda stream, and uh, the stream went... The stream went well. It was probably one of the funniest streams that we've had in a while. Um, there was a lot of, of, of chaos, which was surprising because there was a lot of chaos last week, and we very rarely have, like, two chaotic streams like that in a row. Um, but we had a lot of fun. We hope everyone else had a lot of fun. Mal and I struggled quite a bit in the actual gameplay portions in various, various ways. Um, fortunately, I feel like most of the ways in which we struggled were comical. Yeah. And that's good. I, if we're going to struggle, I want it to be a, like a funny struggle. Um, there was very little, like, I, I assume there's very little, like, audience ripping their hair out. Although maybe a little bit. A little bit. When I think of that, what I really think about is Dan. I think about Dan editing these videos and, and working through them and, and getting to parts and going, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you trying to do here? So, uh, yeah, it's just great. I know Dan adds little comments and stuff to the videos, and I think it's fun because, like, he's the voice of reason for the folks that are watching, and that's enjoyable. Anyway, you could probably hear it on video, but it's raining. So Mal and I have just been on the beanbag in the sunroom, which at this point, I guess, it's not really a sunroom, it's a rain room. But it's been nice to just listen to the rain and kind of chill after stream. And a little man came down. Look at that. Hey, bud. Hey, pal. You're down here. I think the drugs finally wore off. So that's good. Oh, it's raining. Hard. Oh, oh, it's raining too hard for Cap. He's going G.I. Joe. He's starting to leave. Sorry, pal. Sorry about that. Something's wrong with this. It's clogged. Is it clogged? Yeah, the, the gutters are. The gutters are clogged? Yeah. Because when it rains real hard... It just streams down It just streams down the window. The gutters are clogged up there. <sighs> we own a ladder. It's three stories up. Because the, the crawl space is a story on that part I guess of the house. we cannot safely do no, that. No, we can't. Uh, okay. All right. We could mention it to the landlord? We can try. We can try. All right, I'm going to end it here. Uh, just wanted to say again that I was grateful for today in terms of, like, Kepler, Kepler's Echo looking good. Um, you know, you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. You never know what kind of new interesting problems could just happen. You never know if his triditis could just suddenly get worse. Like, there's, there's all of these unknowns when it comes to owning a pet or just living life, honestly. But, like, for today, given the information that we know, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm really grateful. Um, Kepler's heart update was a good one. Getting the information that, like, nothing has changed was, was awesome. To an extent, when you have like a thing coming up like this for, for a pet. I don't want to say that I prepare for the worst, but in some way I, I do, because with, with everything that happened with Sagan, it was so drastic and sudden and, and fast. Like, it caught me off guard. And um, 
I there is a there's definitely a part of me that like just kind of tenses up a little bit anytime I have to do something like that. So I'm happy to get some good news today. It makes me really happy. Okay, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow. Shall we?